Hey guys, what is good? Now if you're like me, you want to get a little bit more out of Minecraft every day. You just want to get a new mod or something that's going to spice it up a little bit because vanilla Minecraft can only be fun for so long. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you guys how to install Shaders Mod. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because for me, it was kind of impossible to figure it out. But uh, after um, Googling and watching videos and stuff like that, I figured I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Just click on a couple things, download two things, and you're good to go. Now, right here is what we're going to need. Uh, these are not everything you need but these are some options. So these are two different shaders. One is uh, the Sonic Ethers Ultimate Shaders or SUS and then um, Shoulders or Silders uh, Shaders. Uh, links for both of them will be in the description and shout out for them for making uh, the tutorial and everything um, and the shaders themselves. And Optifine is optional, but it does say it is recommended for the uh, Schultz's or the not the not Seuss's shaders, but the other shaders. So I'm gonna open up Minecraft, and as you can see, it's super clean. This is 1.8 Minecraft, um, but unfortunately, the Forge, which we're gonna be using, because Forge is probably the best way to get the better mods or the better shaders. Um, Forge is not out for 1.8 yet because 1.8 is like brand new. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to be running 1.8 or 1.7.10, but pretty damn soon, Forge for 1.8 will be released. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're not gonna open up our downloads. We're just gonna open up our Minecraft. And this is like I just said, I just deleted my uh, .minecraft jar and. Um, this is me, camsurfs88, and as you can see, there's only one profile, and we are going to load it up. We're going to go to edit first, and we're going to go to 1.710, and we're going to save. As you can see, we're ready to download and play 1.710. It will download, because I have not used 1.710, and this is recommended to do, well, this is actually necessary to do, so that in your .minecraft, all of these will pop up. So now we have uh, 1.7.10. 1.7.10, sure, 1.7.10, download it, and now it's in our .minecraft. I don't know why I exited out of our .minecraft, so I'm going to go back in there and uh, open it back up. Okay, so here we have our .minecraft, and now we are going to open up Forge. Now Forge is on this link right uh, here, somewhere around here. Um, I may have exited out of Forge. Alright, so this will be the, this is going to be this, the link that I'll have in the description and it'll be pop up right here. In the future, there should be 1.8 right here, but for now we're just going to do 1.7.10. So I'll have this link in the description, you're just going to click on this highlighted one right here and it will pop up like this, you can just drag it to your desktop. So when it's here, you're just going to click on it and it is executable, so you're just going to click in install client and hit OK and it's going to do its thing. Okay, so when this is done, it's going to say successfully installed client, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it'll have a new launcher in Grab 11 required libraries. Okay, good to know. So now when we open up Minecraft, the launcher will show here. And now you're going to have a second profile. It's going to say Forge. So now you're going to click on that. You're going to hit play. And it's going to run everything that it needs to run in your .minecraft. So Forge is going to overtake it into 1.710, so you do not need to go in and manually do it every time. So it says three mods, three mods, three mods. So the um, mods we have right now is Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. These come already when with Forge, so that is something you don't need to get the uh, Forge or the Mod Loader. 
So we're gonna go back into our .minecraft and we're gonna see what we have. Oh, we have mods. And now we don't have the um, shaders, so we're gonna have to come in, open up our mods, and we're gonna have to put shaders mod into here. All right, so now we have a shaders mod. This is not the shader itself, but that is just simply the mod that the game will run off of, or that the shader will run off so that the game recognizes it. This is required for the newer mods. So we're gonna run Forge again, and I don't know if it'll actually say four, but it should say three mods. But what this does is when you have this installed, Basically what it does is it will put a uh, shader pack inside of your .minecraft. Okay, so after you run your mod for the shader packs, your shader packs will open up right here. And uh, what this means is now you have something that will the game will be looking for for your shaders. Now a lot of people have just said put the shaders in there um, without running the mod, like make it or whatever, but the thing that I've been seeing that nobody has been saying is that you it has to be zipped so the zip files have to be compressed they can't be uncompressed in the files inside of there so what you do is you just take them don't you don't have to um, uncompress them um, and just throw them right into your shader packs now um, you're good to go now what I do just in case is in the versions under my forge version which, which pops up after you run forge I just put these in here you don't have to do that I don't think but if it doesn't work I would suggest trying that and now we can begin so under the launcher you can either do this two ways one way has worked the best for me is instead of actually launching forge as under the profile you have to go to your personal profile and it will be at the latest so mine will be 1.8 it won't be right here 1.7.10 because it's going to be down here 1.7.10 forge has to say forge and now you can save it and right here it'll say ready to play uh, for you it may say ready to update and play but you're just going to go ahead and play that and now it will load up the game okay I'm not going to make a full screen because I'm recording the monitor right now and I don't think the monitor really likes recording the game footage. So yeah. Oh my. Sun is setting. It's looking beautiful. Uh, the quality may be pretty shitty in the video recording, but trust me, this looks beautiful. And the cool thing about this mod is we can actually just click on shaders and we can change it. So the other mod was Sildur's, uh, not Seuss. Um, or Silder and Seuss. So once you do that, you can click OK, and you can kind of see a difference. It'll just um, pop up uh, to the right over there, and this side. So we're just going to try the beta of the Silders, and I haven't yet to seen this. This is probably this is just released, and it should run pretty smoothly because that was kind of as far as like shaders for slower computers. And damn, this is looking beautiful. So if I can. Uh, Game mode one. Oh, I guess I don't have mods. Or, um, yeah, mods enabled. So we're just going to go up to the top here, get a look around. I am going to show you another way how to increase performance if you're having problems with these. So if you go into Control Alt Delete, uh, you're going to open up your task manager. I have the task manager down at the bottom left uh, just because I tend to use it a lot. And if you go into Details, you're going to go see your Java. Now there's two different Javas. One of them is running the launcher behind the scenes, basically, and the other one's running the game. Uh, sometimes the CPU power, obviously the 12 CPU power is taking up from uh, the game that's running. So if I delete this one, um, it, I think this one will be... Okay, so just kind of test that. But uh, basically what you're doing is you're deleting one Java so it can focus on all the other Java and uh, you should get better performance. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Um, now I was reading that Sonic Unbelievable uh, Shaders actually created shaders. So he worked with the shaders mod. So 
they're one of the creators like they're the first people who made shaders so all other shaders basically will be uh, a copy if you look at the code and stuff it'll pretty much be the same so um, I suggest using Sonics just because like I said or even show um, they will have like the nudist shader technology and uh, let's see yeah, 53 very playable it's looking beautiful look at the, the clouds are looking good and the clouds are actually dynamic they're moving um, if I could fly up I could show you but you can even see them moving in the wind and whatnot and uh, I would love to show you guys nighttime but I think I'll make another video on this updated version and uh, let's go jump in the water yeah this is looking nice so there is real reflections um, for of the of the clouds that is um, I think the reflections for the uh, the ground ha is going to be like kind of well they kind of have the reflections of the ground so let's break these blocks see what the water looks like when it's moving very nice very nice Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped because I was definitely having some uh, issues and nothing seemed to really clear it up. Um, it's looking really good though. I do have the ultra, ultra maxed out uh, shaders and Optifine there is. So this is going to be probably the most demanding. Uh, but as you can see, my computer's running it pretty well. Um, if you guys have any questions, please contact me in the uh, comments. I'll answer them, I promise, and uh, I'll try to figure it out with you because I had definitely had some problems, so I'm sure we almost had the same problems. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.